another long run today, 16 kilometers from Agua Tavar to Tazacorte. So far, it's very epic. Atlantic Ocean, mountain, everything is good. An epic day ahead. Just getting started. I'm gonna keep it easy. It's my second long run for the week. So, pretty tough week, but it's my last week here on La Palma. So. so, some of the route is on trails, and other parts are on more like concrete and pavement, going between houses and integrated into the villages to see how people live. Pretty steep as usual. Avocados. I mean, my heart rate is fine, you know. I'm running most of the time very easy in terms of effort, but my legs, that's where I have to focus on taking it easy. Wow, my God. This barranco is called Barranco Jurado or something like that. And it's one of the most epic barrancos on the island. Barranco, by the way, means ravine. It's steep again. You probably can't appreciate it on the camera, but let's just say I can touch the ground in front of me really easy. A few more grades of incline and I would have to be using my hands too. We're almost through now, through the Barranco. Still not even halfway though to Tazacorta, which is our final destination today. Crazy, crazy environment. Right out there is America, across the Atlantic. We made it. Let's see, El Tina, that's where we're going, up to the main road. There's an dispero tree, that's a low quads in English. Seven kilometers, 55 minutes, well, it takes a bit of time.
most of the green that you see down there, that's banana plantations. That's the Atlantic Ocean. And this is La Palma. This is the best view of La Palma that you pretty much can get anywhere. I mean, this is the best stuff. Up back there is Rock de los Muchachos. Uh, you know, Transvulcania, the race. Starts out in the south, goes all up there on the volcanic trail. All there, that's El Pilar is over there where I finished one of my long runs. You can check out the video somewhere here. And then they run around along the ridge there, all along the ridge behind the peak there, and up to Roque de los Muchachos, all the way down to Tazacorte, which is where I'm going now. A little bit of a different route though. And then back up to Los Llanos, which is there. So that's the Transvulcania race. Whew. Insane. The path is winding down, switchbacks, and the view is just insane. But I can't look too much at the view though because. And then on my trip, right? I think I'm gonna put away the camera, focus, and I'll catch you guys when I'm in Tazacourt in just a little while. I made it, I'm in Tazacourt now. There's a lot of wind, so I'm just gonna film the ocean and show you guys some images from the ocean, but I'm gonna make the video back here though. It was a good run, wow. I'm super, super tired right now. Two hours, but pretty easy but yeah I mean I'm at my capacity when it comes to both distance and time and uh, vertical I mean all the downhills oh my god <laughs> the last downhill was just insane just totally insane um, you better go and check out my Strava profile there's a link in the description and look at I'll, I'll put a link to this particular run so you can see the how steep it was at the end there anyway I'm gonna wrap it up now I'm gonna go find some water. I mean, I've drunk water all the way, but now I need to get in a, about a liter of water and I have some dates with me. So I'm gonna eat a meal of water and dates and relax. And then I'm gonna head back home. Thanks for watching. Check out my Instagram account if you want cool pictures from my different runs and my life in general. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments. Uh, what you your last awesome run and how it went all right see you around